David, um, is frustration the overriding emotion for, for you, given how that, that game ended? Yeah, if we speak about the result, yes. If we speak about the performance, um, how, how the guys played, how focused they were from the first second, um, how they defended, um, how they compete, even in the second half against a team which started to, to play very direct. Um, they have done everything super good, super well. We looked um, sharp. Everything was there in ball possession, without ball possession, but we didn't kill the game. We were not ruthless uh, in opponent's box with uh, the clear cut chances, which we had a lot of clear cut chances, good good chances, and obviously uh, this is then obviously uh, obviously at the end of the day um, what decided this game and why we haven't won it. And this is uh, frustrated because if you play so well. Um, First half against a team which wanted to play, which wanted to press. Uh, we find the solution. Second half against a team which was uh, super direct. Uh, we compete. Um, and then if you don't uh, use your opportunities and the second half, we had very good opportunities as well, not only in the first half. Then the set piece can always happen. We, we collected some points in, in the past with set pieces. Now we conceded set pieces. It can always happen but it will not uh, affect anything if you use your chances. And this is what we haven't done. This is what frustrates, uh, but the performance and uh, everything what the players have shown on the pitch, uh, the commitment uh, was good. Uh, I think um, this is not a shadow of a doubt. Yeah, I was, I was going to ask you about the, the, the missed opportunities because you get yourself into a two-goal lead. That that next goal is so important, isn't it? And you had the chances to do that, particularly in the in the second half with, with Sarah and, and Stacey. Yeah, in the first half as well with the opportunity. So we can kill it in the first half. In the second half, I don't care, but we haven't done it. And this is, um, yeah, what 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 hurts. This is the truth. Um, it's a point away from home. Yeah, I know. Um, but um, today we were not easily because it's hard work which the players put into the into the game. But we were able to collect three, and this is what we haven't done because we we haven't killed it. And as I said, uh, especially uh, when a team is so direct with set pieces, um, something can happen uh, always. Even if I have to say, I think we competed uh, this very, very well. So um, this is um, the story and this is what we have to accept. Yeah, I was, was going to make the point on set pieces. There's obviously an area of your game that you've scored a lot of goals in in, in recent weeks. Um, is, is there anything that you feel either goal you, you, you could have done better to uh, set piece wise but is, is it just one of those things that you are going to concede set pieces over the course of a season? No, listen, I think first of all I think they're, they're, uh, they're very good deliverers uh, they're crowded and obviously you have to be super active uh, if they crowd the, the players um, and this is where we have to be much more active uh, with body contact in the situations um, but uh, this is exactly what they have done uh, we just had a joke uh, or I just had a joke with uh, their manager um, and we said okay this is the German uh, Tony Poulis now uh, <laughs> what, 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 how he plays uh, but at the end of the day listen um, we, we have to be more ruthless. This is the story and this is what hurts. Uh, anything of apart from this, how we played, how we defended, even against the direct side, was good. And as, as I said, uh, set pieces uh, were uh, good deliverers. Uh, yes, we can do this better, but this will always happen in football that you can see it, uh, especially if a team is so so direct and uh, put so many long throw-ins and whatever into the box. Yeah, and, and Danny Rolls just just spoken about that, making the four changes at half-time, going a little bit more direct, but but you feel your, your team kind of dealt with, with, with those changes quite well. Yeah, I think uh, we, we, we competed uh, well uh, with the long throw-ins, with the corners. Apart from these two corners, uh, we found our way uh, to be competitive and to create chances. We had, I think, at least three, maybe four super good chances even in the second half and um, this is what unfortunately um, we not have used second half and first half for sure as well so um, we were competitive uh, against both styles um, but um, we didn't use our chance I think this is it listen everybody who has seen this is quite easy this game got decided that it wasn't the win uh, that it was only a draw because we haven't used our chances very 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 easy and in, in turn, there's obviously a few fitness things to, to speak about. Let's, let's start with Liam Gibbs first and foremost. Came onto the pitch, went off quickly. Looked like a hamstring issue, I, th I think. No. Is, is, no? no, it's a squat, squat. Uh, but it's, a, it's an injury, yes. And obviously, 
Um, Duffer was super tired after the last uh, game. We, we can't take any risks with this uh, thin squad which we have. Uh, Danny Bath has always played very well, is a super pro and I think he has uh, done very good today. Uh, and now we have to um, yeah, find uh continue uh, solutions for um yeah the next game with, with gibbs is there any indication of, of how that looks at the moment is it one where you're gonna have to go back and, and scan it yeah, yeah for sure for sure i i think it's a, it's a more serious uh, quad injury if you come on and can't continue um but we have to assess and josh Sargent as well if it looked to sort of be feeling something in, in the first half was that fitness related as as well his change yeah yeah of course i think um yeah this is the um, the real problem which we have uh, that we can't take any risks with our players at the minute and obviously you see the team sheet now in the last four five six weeks um, the players which we have um, uh, with us um, yeah they, they are talented they are young but uh, obviously um, they, they need their time as well and this is why a lot of players have to play a lot of minutes and um, uh, even if this is the case we have to be very careful because uh, we need the players not only for one game, we need them uh, for hopefully a few more. And, and that's the risk, isn't it? When you've got such a small group of players that are playing pretty consistently, it does increase the chances of, of injury. Yeah, uh, I risk. Uh, that is a risk which I always want. Uh, but obviously um, the decision what made, was made to go with such a, a thin squad and uh, mm. I had to accept it. In terms of, of the, the substitutions that you made, bringing Duffy on late on, was, was that about kind of what you spoke about to, to sort of go or prepare for the directness and deal with the directness that they were bringing and, and also the, the long throw threat as well that increased in the second half. No, yeah, at the end of the day, uh, there were not a lot of alternatives uh, then. And obviously, if you uh, concede two after set pieces with another five minutes to go, um, yeah, and you have uh, Duffy on the bench, uh, even if he um, um, was not on the uh, highest energy level. Um, I think this was not a shadow of a, of a doubt uh, that we bring him on then for the last minute. Uh, and bigger picture from the last two games, Ipswich and, and this one, you've you've taken four points. I'm sure you know it, maybe in the days to come, if people will flip those results, the, the points tally would, would would look a little bit different. Are, are you pleased with kind of what you've taken out of these these two games? No, I would have uh, liked to have six, and mm. I think. Um, this is obviously uh, the normal reaction after, after you've seen the two performances. But uh, football, you not always get what you wish. Uh, you get what you what you earn. And today we only earned one point. Why? Because of uh, not being ruthless. Anything else apart from not being ruthless, from my point of view, we have seen a very good uh, Norwich City side in ball possession, played super good football, were competitive, uh, worked hard. But haven't used our chances. Just, just a couple more from me. But yeah, I think you were asked pre-game about how you deal with when you have such a high on Saturday, and then you have a game shortly after, and you have to kind of bring yourself down and prepare for that. You must be really pleased with the way that your players dealt with that kind of psychological aspect of, of tonight. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, I think from the first second they were switched on um, after this high. We we have known that today. Uh, with the victory, we really can back up uh, what we have done on Saturday, and this was exactly the aim. And this is um, how the players played. Unfortunately, uh, we finished. Uh, we haven't finished the job. And, and just finally, I mean, you've, you've mentioned the squad and you've mentioned some of the fitness concerns. I think this is your, your third game in eight days. Do you have to take a little bit more time in the build-up to the Preston game in terms of recovery and assessing kind of what, what you have from a fitness perspective? No, we, we, we have the same routine like we, we always um, had in the past when we have uh, such a short turnaround. Obviously, it's nothing new to have a midweek game. Um, the difference is, obviously, we had a quite busy Easter period beforehand. Um, it's the end of the season and um, we not have a lot of uh, players available. Uh, this is uh, the difference, but we will go again on Saturday. Sorry, one more. I did want to ask you about Danny Barr. I know you mentioned him earlier Earlier on. I think it's only his fifth start of the season. How would you kind of assess how, how he did in his performance tonight? Top. Very solid performance. Um, exactly what we expected from him. He's a... He's a super pro, uh, a super human being as well, and uh, always reliable. So he never let me down uh, when when got used. And um, I was very happy with uh, his performance today. And obviously, he, this gave the chance to um, rest Duffy today. Thanks, David. Thank you.